Right now, the identities of the two bodies that were released earlier today were found on an Adams County property earlier this week. Plus, coaches from all over Dane County converge on the Overture Center for International Festival. And we take you to the festivities in Baraboo today for the 65th annual Circus World Anniversary Days. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. Topping our stories this evening, officials confirmed two bodies were found on a property in Adams County. Officials say the body, which was discovered on Thursday, was 62-year-old Sharon Miller. And investigators say they then located the body of her son, 37-year-old Jamie Lumby, at their residence. Both are being investigated as suspicious deaths. The Adams County Sheriff's Office, along with the Department of Justice, continue to collect and analyze evidence and are conducting interviews. Anyone with any information or if you've had any recent contact with Sharon or Jamie, are asked to contact the Adams County Sheriff's Office at 608-339-3304. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says divers have recovered the body of a 63-year-old man who drowned on the Wisconsin River in Lake Wisconsin area near Merrimack Saturday afternoon. The County Dispatch Center received several 911 calls Saturday afternoon. The man was in the water in the area off of Tipperary Road north of the town of Decorah when he went underwater. His name has not yet been released. The Wisconsin Department of Justice says an officer-involved shooting took place Saturday in rural Adams County. They are now investigating the shooting, which took place Saturday afternoon in the town of Big Flats. That's just north of Friendship. They say one person was injured after they led sheriff's deputies on multiple pursuits. The same person fired a weapon at law enforcement with them returning fire. The person of interest received medical attention at the scene before being transported to a local hospital for critical injuries. The involved law enforcement personnel are on administrative leave per agency policy. Switching gears now, let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Blaze, it was another beautiful day, but how does it feel out there right now? It continues to feel really nice outside. You know, we don't have that humidity sticking around even into this hour, despite the fact that our temperatures are obviously getting closer to our dew points. We typically see that during the day. So in the afternoon, it felt very nice outside. And even now it feels nice outside. Have the windows open at least for this evening and let in some fresh air. Because as we look ahead, you know, we've got Tuesday's severe weather outlook out there. We are going to welcome back not only cloud cover, but the chance for rain and even possibly some severe thunderstorms, a marginal risk across most of the news three now coverage area that slight risk kind of isolated to parts of Iowa at least for now I would say of all the severe weather hazards strong wind gusts and actually flooding are probably going to be the main threats then followed by hail as well as that isolated tornado threat but conditions continue to really be more into Iowa than even across southwestern portions of Wisconsin so we're going to keep our fingers crossed that that trend continues in the meantime though we're taking a live look towards downtown Madison it is calm out there our dew point are while in the upper 40s to low 50s and the humidity may be a little bit higher in some spots, it actually feels really nice outside. There's nothing on the satellite and radar. That high pressure system continues to keep us on the quiet side. We're already approaching the low 50s. If not, we're already there in Camp Douglas, Black River Falls. We're in the 60s in not only the Madison area and Janesville area, but across much of Dane County. Probably that urbanized heat trapping and a little bit of that uh, daytime heating that we did see earlier today. But as we continue to make our way through this evening, we're we're going to lose a lot of it because of the clear skies. We're going to track out that isolated uh, severe weather threat on Tuesday in the full forecast. All right, Blaze, thank you. To more local news, the Madison Fire Department responded to an early morning house fire on the west side. No injuries were reported. The fire took place on the 300 block of Racine Road in the University Hill Farms neighborhood. MFD says they responded shortly after 12.30 a.m. In a press release, MFD reports a neighbor called their dispatch center reporting smoke and growing flames coming from the back of the impacted home. Responding crews battled heavy flames and smoke coming from the back porch. No one was home at the time of the fire, and it was extinguished by 1 a.m. Damage to the home has left the resident who just moved in displaced. The cause of the fire is now under investigation. 11 people were hurt when an escalator malfunctioned at a Brewers Cubs game on Saturday. The accident happened Saturday as fans were leaving American Family Field in Milwaukee. The Brewers organization says the malfunction resulted in the escalator speeding up while it went downward. Witnesses say people started screaming and toppling over one another. A number of people were trampled and six people were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. 
And taking advantage of the beautiful weather we saw earlier today, people took to the Baraboo, took to Baraboo for the 65th annual Circus World Days. Baraboo is home to the Ringling Brothers Circus, and over the past six decades, the Circus World anniversary has grown to have over 200 wagons and 60 acres worth of exhibits, which is far from its humble beginnings where it started out with just six wagons and less than an acre of land. Wisconsin has the distinction of being the state where the most amount of circuses has come from over the years. Really, if you take a, a map of the state and you throw a dart at it, you're going to get on or really close to a town where a circus came from. Uh, the, the first circus that occurs here at the state of Wisconsin happens a full year before Wisconsin's even a state. The Anniversary Days Festival runs through Monday and admission is just $6. And the Overture Center this weekend is playing host to the International Festival for a time full of performances, food, and so much more. The event gives individuals the opportunity to celebrate the rich and diverse culture and art Dane County has to offer. It's really about representation and celebration and um, authenticity and, uh, you know, genuine connection to show the breadth of, of the cultures that we have here in Madison. And it's really important that Overture can be the place for that to happen every year. Um, we've been able to present this program for over 40 years. More than 30 cultures were represented at the event. From your local festivals to politics and breaking news, download our News 3 Now app on the app store if you're choosing to keep up with all of it. Just search WISC or News 3 Now. President Biden is still facing a lot of calls to step aside in the presidential race following Thursday's debate performance. Yesterday, Democratic Governor Tony Evers went on damage control for the president. He was joined with Maryland Governor Wes Moore. Evers had this to say on the race. It's quite simple. Who's... Who's done more in the four years of Donald Trump or the four years of Joe Biden? It's all good. The campaign stop came just two days following the debate where President Biden was seen stumbling through answering questions posed by moderators. It's not encouraging among Democrats as nearly half of those polled say he shouldn't remain the nominee. The Biden campaign says it's full steam ahead and is focused on, remain, on reminding voters about the choice between him and former President Trump. Democrats are hitting several swing states and the airwaves, telling their voter base to stay the course following President Biden's debate performance. The president had a, had a difficult night, uh, just like every single one of us do. But I think that we know that when we get knocked down, we get back up. However, Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin says rigorous talks within the party are taking place. We're having a serious conversation about what to do. Uh, one thing I can tell you is that regardless of what President Biden decides um, our party is going to be unified. Democrats called the debate bad for both presumptive nominees, critical of Trump's lies and embellishments. Though just released CBS News polling shows 46 percent of registered Democratic voters think President Biden should not run, up 10 percent in four months. And I would not be running again if I didn't believe with all my heart and soul, I can do this job. The Biden-Harris campaign says it's instead highlighting moments like the president on the trail in North Carolina, as they're characterizing the race as a binary choice. Republicans say it's an easy decision. Everyone's talking about should Joe Biden even stay in the race. That's never happened in our in our history. It was such a dominant performance by President Trump in this in this debate. Tonight, President Biden is at Camp David celebrating the 4th with his family. His campaign says the money keeps rolling in, raising $33 million since the debate. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And coming up next on News 3 Now at 10, the summer heat is in full swing across most of the country. Find out which drink remains supreme to battle the high temps. And the 4th of July is just around the corner. We take a deep dive into the numbers on travel. Find out where they rank all time for holiday travel records. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Revival Infusion Madison for Best Mental Health Facility. Vote for Revival Infusion Madison online today. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Caulk, our high performance hybrid caulk with our new trigger flow nozzle. Flex Caulk is so easy to use. Just push the trigger and you get a perfect bead every time. And when you stop, it stops. There's absolutely no mess.
you can adjust the flow from thick to thin. It also comes in clear, perfect for kitchen countertops, sinks, and backsplashes. Ordinary caulks, they dry out, but Flex Caulk stays flexible. And with our snap and save cap, you can Flex Caulk again and again. There's no waste. Flex Caulk has incredible adhesion. It even works underwater. It dries fast, is fully paintable, totally waterproof, and lasts for years. Forget those ordinary caulks and throw away that caulking gun. Get Flex Caulk, available at these fine retailers. Hanson's windows, roofing, siding, gutters, bathtubs, and showers are guaranteed. Get 60% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for one year. Call 1-800-HANSON'S. Get it done. I was raised by my wonderful grandparents who took care of me when my mother was struggling with addiction. Later, when Nana got frail, I was privileged to help take care of her. I believe it's our duty to honor our elders. So I've worked hard in the Senate to protect Medicare and nursing home care from those who've tried relentlessly to cut benefits. The least we can do is help those who've helped us. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. It's Red, White, and Bargains during hy V's four-day sale this Monday through Thursday. Six-pack bottles of Pepsi products, just $2.99 each when you buy four. Whole seedless watermelon, just $3.98 each. Fresh ground chuck, just $3.98 a pound. Ritz crackers or Chips Ahoy cookies, just $1.99. Our special recipe brats or patties, 10 for just $10. And Lay's kettle-cooked rolled gold or munchies, just $1.99 each when you buy four. Monday through Thursday, only at hy V. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, it's a Mario Lopez milestone. You just turned 50. Thank you. This is what 50 look like. My daughter will be like, Dad, what are you doing? You're like a 1,000 years old. <laughs> On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, moving forward. The heat is on throughout much of the country, and we face it here ourselves in Wisconsin. The oppressive heat wave is affecting millions of Americans. The summer months are a time when lots of people like to be outdoors, but during a heat wave, doctors recommend limiting your time outside and drink plenty of water. CNN's wellness health expert, Dr. Leanna Wynn, recommends people on average should drink 64 ounces of water on a normal day. The CDC says if you are exercising or working in the heat, drink eight ounces of water every 15 to 20 minutes. The CDC says it's important to stay hydrated before and after a person's time in the heat. Wen says it is the best way to stay away from alcohol, caffeinated drinks, and energy drinks. They tend to de dehydrate a person and not provide what a person needs when coping with the heat. Wen says water is the best choice and sports energy drinks can help a person replace some of the electrolytes a person may lose through sweating. Tonight, there were parades across the country marking the end of Pride Month. This is New York City, where crowds gathered along with Fifth Avenue to Greenwich Village. Some people could be seen standing on scaffolding and, five es and fire escapes for view. In San Francisco, spectators lined Market Street at what is one of the biggest LGBTQ celebrations in the world. Health officials are taking this time to warn some most at risk within the LGBTQ community of contracting MPOX, formerly known as monkeypox. Here's CBS's Dr. Celine Grounder. Amid the music and the rainbows at Los Angeles Pride Month events, public health officials are armed with a serious message. Stick it in and get vaccinated against MPOX. Since MPOX is not really in the news right now, they don't necessarily feel a need. Army Cachero and the public health outreach team at UCLA are concerned about a resurgence of MPOX, which broke out across the U.S. and other countries in 2022. Only 23% of those at risk nationwide are vaccinated. The virus causes severe rash and blistering, body aches and fever, and it can even be deadly. Jose Velasquez didn't need his arm twisted to roll up his sleeve. He remembers the fear and pain of being infected with MPOX in 2022. I was actually hospitalized. I got to the point that like my uh, nymph nodes were like really swollen. One, two, three. How was that? I didn't feel it. You didn't feel anything? No. I feel a little relief. 
Men who have sex with men and trans women are at highest risk, but there are barriers to getting the most vulnerable protected with the two-dose vaccine. Why are vaccination rates lower among people of color? Just misinformation, um, lack of health care, lack of trust. Across the country, public health officials are scrambling to prevent a repeat of the panic and confusion of the summer of 2022. Nick Diamond and his husband, Coletzo Mafakane, are public health advocates in New York. I think it's really personal because it's our friends and our neighbors uh, who are concerned about infection. Their research found that many people at risk connect online and hook up in private homes, and that public health messaging must adapt. That requires new thinking, that requires collaboration, and that requires urgency and speed. If we don't build that muscle, we are going to suffer more than we need to suffer. Have you gotten your shot already? In Los Angeles, I'm Dr. Celine Gounder for CBS News. Switching gears now, let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Blaze, what should we expect? We're going to be tracking our next chance for severe weather, potentially Tuesday afternoon as a new low pressure system looks to move through portions of the Midwest and Plains. We've got a marginal and we find that slight risk in the yellow there in parts of Iowa, but marginal continues to be the, the, the threat that's over or the category risk over our viewing area. So make sure you're staying with News 3 now throughout Tuesday. While conditions don't look super impressive, they are still there. In addition to, you know, the, the strong wind gust threat, the isolated hail and weak tornado threat, flooding is also going to be a pretty big threat as we move into your Tuesday and Wednesday. We are very saturated across Wisconsin, especially along the Mississippi River, where all of our other rivers empty into. And all these purples and reds actually fall only between Tuesday and Wednesday. So we have that even moderate excessive rainfall outlook across all of Wisconsin, it seems like, as we go Tuesday into Wednesday. So we're going to keep an eye out mainly for strong wind gusts as well as that uh, flooding risk Tuesday into Wednesday, but we're also going to keep an eye out for maybe some localized large hail. And of course, we're going to keep uh, an eye out for uh, a weak tornado threat as well. But again, a lot of the conditions continue to be pushed further and further south into more of Iowa. We may get some spillover as we go Tuesday afternoon into uh, the evening hours. Now, interestingly enough, we have had 50 tornado warnings issued out of the National Weather Service in Milwaukee. The year isn't even over yet, but that 50 is the most tornado warnings the National Weather Service has issued since 1986. And that's accounting for almost 40 years of actual January through December data. So that just shows you how active we have been this year. We've talked about it in, in some iteration, but that just really paints that, that really, uh, that really is, uh, solid number for you as we begin to wrap up the month of June. Thankfully, we went into this weekend on the quiet side. We are quiet now and underneath those clear skies, we're sitting in the low 50s in Camp Douglas and Black River, 60 in Madison, 61 in Monroe, as well as in Janesville, taking it in closer to Dane County. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit hotter towards downtown with that urban heat, but otherwise we're in those upper 50s to low 60s. We're going to hang out in the low 50s tonight underneath those clear skies, maybe some fog developing as we go into the morning hours on on your Monday, but that burns off and then clouds start to increase as we say goodbye to that high pressure system and welcome in our next chance for rain. Maybe as early as late Monday night, but probably into Tuesday early morning. We could dry out Tuesday mid afternoon, and that's what we're going to see. Maybe that chance for some severe thunderstorms to develop as we go Tuesday late afternoon into the early evening hours. And of course, just quickly touching on how historic uh, Barrel is. He's a category four hurricane. He's the early earliest hurricane in the Atlantic season to develop. He's not only uh, taken that, but he's also the quickest to become a category four hurricane in the Atlantic basin. And he's the only category four hurricane in recorded history to develop in June. So we're going to continue to track him very carefully. Just want to show off this quick viewer photo out of Mauston. Thank you, Lisa, for sending us that. Here's a quick look at your seven and 10 day forecast. No alert days, but we're going to continue to track that chance for uh, maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms there, Jalen and folks at home on your 4th of July. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Blaze. To stay up to date on the weather and our first worn forecast with app, it is hourly forecast, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC Weather, and we wouldn't send you there if it weren't free. Americans, this weekend are 
on the go. Nearly 72 million people are expected to be on the move this holiday week. CBS's Adam Yamaguchi is at LAX with more on some record-setting travel numbers. The holiday travel rush is on at LAX and airports across the country with long lines at TSA checkpoints and ticket counters. It's annoying, but it's like we kind of expected that it was going to be this bad. This summer's surge of travelers has TSA screening passengers in record numbers. Six of their busiest days in its history have been this June. Record crowds are also expected this coming Wednesday, July 3rd. Air travel is up 7% from last 4th of July, helping to pack those planes, ticket prices that are about 18% lower than a year ago. We got ours like, what, two, three months ago? Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. say they were too bad. AAA forecasts that most Americans, close to 90%, will travel by road this holiday. These trips cost Californians the most, with gas in an average of 4.80 a gallon. But overall, prices are down about six cents. Navigating traffic, weather, and airport crowds can be stressful, but for many, the final destination justifies the travel headaches. Our trip out here was really nice, and things weren't too crowded, and we spent a few days in L.A. at the beach, and now we're heading back home. With so many traveling all week, AAA expects another mad rush July 7th as millions of Americans head back to work. Adam Yamaguchi, CBS News, Los Angeles. And coming up in sports, Steve Stricker battles in the rain for the U.S. Senior Open. Andrew has those highlights next in sports. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This Monday, one day only, earn a 40 cent high V fuel saver. For every $60 you spend, that's a 40 cent fuel saver. For every $60, Monday only, and only at high V. RockAuto.com. Yes. Yes. No. Uh, yes. All the parts your car will ever need, RockAuto. Dear Triathlon, let's splash through rushing rivers, take on iconic trails, and race straight to the top. What's the point of winning if you can't kick back and enjoy the view? Yours, Toyota SUVs. Right now, you can lease a new 2024 Corolla Cross for $2.99 a month. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Blackberry Smoke. Live in concert. Be right here to it. Saturday, July 6th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Bells. Yeah, Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Awesome. Don't miss Blackberry Smoke Live. It's only paint. It's only paint that comes in an award-winning twist and pour container. It's only paint that can cover the brightest shade of orange known to mankind in just one coat. It's only paint that will inspire you to write your masterpiece. It's only paint that will help you become TV's hottest writer, where one day you'll meet this guy who starred in that thing. So yeah, it's only paint. Only easy opening, smooth pouring, change your life, both professionally and romantically, paint. I'm gonna take real good care of your window. You need the experts at Feldco. Right now at Feldco, get two windows for the price of one. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. After 35 years in business on Madison's West Side, Capital Car Cleaners is celebrating by offering all our customers $10 off an interior or exterior detail or $20 off a full service detail. We detail all cars, pickups, SUVs, motorcycles, and full-size vans. Call today to set up an appointment at our Watts Road location and get $10 off an interior or exterior detail or $20 off a full-service detail. Check out our website at CapitalCarCleaners.com. Capital Car Cleaners, auto detailing at its best. This Monday, one day only, earn a 40-cent high V fuel saver. For every $60 you spend, that's a 40 cent fuel saver for every $60, Monday only, and only at High V.
It has been 270 days since Craig Council managed what would turn out to be his last game with the Brewers. And 270 days later, it's still just as weird to see him in that Cubs uniform. And he received his fair share of booze down at AmFam today. Let's get to the game. The crew, they've got the chance to send their old skipper back to Chicago with another series loss, and that's what Bryce Terang came to do. Bases juiced, and you know what the deal is. A grand salami. It's Milwaukee's fifth grand slam in their last eight games and their fourth in their last six home games. You can call it and am, am slam field. I think that that's... A pretty fitting nickname for it. How about Bryce Terang, 12 career homers, three grand slams. It doesn't get much better than that. And if anybody's still wondering, how are the Brewers still winning? Freddy Peralta's got the answer. They didn't expect us to be where we are right now. But, you know, with, with the Brewers, and we've been doing this for, for like, last six years. And we just try to compete outside, and we show you know, other, other people around that, that we come out, we're hungry to play, and, and that's, that's how we win games. And MLB announced today a big format change coming for this year's Home Run Derby. For starters, it's no longer a head-to-head -head competition. This year, it's everybody versus everybody. They also put in a pitch limit for each round, meaning batters can see a maximum of 40 pitches in each of the first two rounds, and then 27 pitches in the third round. Additionally, batters will get three bonus outs after each round. Now, the field hasn't been announced yet, but don't be surprised if Mallard's legend Pete Alonzo makes his return. Speaking of the Mallards, after leading 6-0 yesterday, they dropped a heartbreaker. There are just two games left in the first half of their season, and the Ducks need to win both to clinch that first half title and the automatic postseason playoff berth that comes with it. It'll be a fun one tomorrow night at the Duck Pond. Steve Stricker has come up just short in each of the last two U.S. Senior Opens with a pair of runner-up finishes. He'd try to change that tune today, entering the final round two strokes off the lead. We pick up the Edgerton legend on the fourth, where Stricker would look to catch that elusive birdie, and there he goes, right on the money, reading it like a book. It would be his only bird of the day, though, because after 10 holes, rain forced the event to be postponed, or at least this round to be postponed until tomorrow. Stricker has some ground to make up, trailing by six strokes with eight holes left. Staying on the links in the Rocket Mortgage Classic, where Cam Davis staged quite the comeback. He sinks the birdie putt here on 17 to tie it up and for the co-lead. And that left Akshay Batia to just sink this putt and send it to a playoff, but he just misses. A little bit tricky from that angle, but it, it couldn't have been much more than four feet. That one is going to be one that helps him lose some sleep. But Cam Davis, on the other hand, he gets the win his second time winning the Rocket Mortgage Classic. And it kind of makes you realize that, you know, when any of us normal people that aren't professional athletes or yeah. professional golfers are out there, it makes it sting a little bit less when you miss any shot in general. I think it was $1.6 million Oof. on the line for that putt. Now he still came home with some money, but not the big purse. Yeah, 1.6, that'll definitely make me lose some sleep. But next time I lose a layup, uh, miss a layup, I'll definitely be thinking back to that shot. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, hey, they do this all the time. If I can miss a layup, then it's whatever. Yeah, I mean, if, if he's doing it, I can too, and hopefully he gets his next one because he's a guy I like rooting for. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you, Andrew. A final check of your first one forecast is coming up when we return. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Accelerated Psychiatry for Best Mental Health Facility. Vote for Accelerated Psychiatry and all your favorites at madisonmagazine.com. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champion. Stay cool and save 35% off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra $100 off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Up to 60% off list at the 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Explosive deals everywhere. Like this classic sofa in three colors. Or a Chase sofa for just $5.98. Recline and save for just $3.99. Get this incredible deal, head up base and eight inch mattress, just $4.99 for both. Plus our 365 night sleep guarantee. What a sale. The 4th of July blowout at Slumberland Furniture. Chevy Trucks Advanced Camera Technology lets you see over, under, 
through. And any other direction you may need. Up to eight available cameras and 14 views, so you can focus on the view that really matters. Don't miss a thing, Chevy's got you. Qualified lessees can get this 2024 Silverado for around $449 a month. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty steak patty sandwiches paired with a $2 medium iced coffee. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a power swap smart. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this 4th of July. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will get free shipping. Hi, I'm Jeff from Nuts.com. When my grandfather started this business, he relied on freshness, quality, variety, and service. We still deliver the freshest nuts, dried fruits, snacks, and sweets to families all around the country. Nuts.com. Enjoy 20% off plus free shipping on your first order. Chris Stanford, News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. We're just a few days away from the 4th. Mm -hmm. Any plans on the horizon? Yes, no? I you think said. I'm working. No, I'm not actually. Uh, I don't know. I'll do something <laughs> fun. I don't know. All right, well, I'm off too, so oh, hit perfect. me up. Speaking I am working, but I'm going to my in-laws tomorrow. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. So speaking of the 4th, what should we expect? Uh, some showers and thunderstorms. So enjoy tomorrow. We're going to start off with some fog. We're tracking a severe weather chance Tuesday afternoon. Scattered chances uh, on the 4th of July. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back.